Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm coming to you with a Q&A video. It's been a while since I've done one of these and I always love connecting with you guys and learning more about you and vice versa. So um, thank you all for your questions. I posted out on Instagram that I would be doing this and um, if I don't get to a question or if I miss something, please leave your questions in the comments below and I'd be happy to answer there. Before I get started, I did just wanna quickly apologize. There is some construction going on outside so you may hear some beeping or or just general noise. Um, that is sort of the story of my life right now, um, <laughs> living in a new townhome where they're building others all around us. So my apologies, it's just gonna be that way for the next indefinite period. And also just wanted to mention that my computer or my laptop is here kind of propped up in my closet. So if I'm looking this way, I am just um, trying to read the questions and I needed to put on my glasses just to even be able to see it. So um, I'm gonna get started with the first question that comes from Premium Life. And she asks, do you um, wear hats to shield from the sun? What sunscreen do you recommend? So yes, I do wear hats um, when I am at the pool or at the beach primarily. I will wear a sun hat. Um, it really, really helps shield my face from the sun. Um, and when I am doing anything sort of active, I may throw on a baseball cap or something like that when I know I'm gonna be outdoors for a while. I generally don't wear hats as much as I should just um, as an accessory. So I really think that um, that's something that I should start doing because I live in Florida and um, big hats and caftans and all of that are just really big here. So yeah, that's something that I will definitely consider doing more of in the future. Um, and then the sunscreen I recommend, I really love Super Goop's Unseen Sunscreen. I think it's uh, not only pretty good, um, pretty high number, I think it's SPF 40, uh, but it's also a really nice formula for putting on under makeup because it is, has this sort of like this silky texture that just makes everything um, you know, go on a lot easier. JJ Taylor, uh, 1977 asks, did you already have any friends in Florida or have you had to start from scratch? I find it daunting to start finding new friends at, um, sorry, new friends to gel with the older I get, do you? And the answer is um, yes, I do find it hard, um, especially during COVID still um, with, you know, working from home and a lot of people aren't out and about as much. I feel like um, it has been hard to make new friends here. However, we do have some friends and family on the west coast of Florida. So um, they're about three to three and a half hours away. So I do see them from time to time. And it's really nice to know that they're, they are there. Um, and we have met our new next door neighbors and we're having a block party soon to meet some more of our neighbors. So hoping to make new friends. Um, but like I said, it's hard kind of working from home. Most of the people that I've met so far are people that work with my husband since he does go into the office for work. And um, so yeah, that's where we're at. Uh, Lindy W56 says, interested in what beauty pie products you love. Uh, so many purchases from your videos. And thank you. I um, yeah, I am in love with Beauty Pie. I have tried so many products. I am going to be doing a video and I think it's actually gonna be the next one that I post, so stay tuned for that next week. Um, but I'm gonna be doing a video about all my favorites from Beauty Pie. There are so, so many, but just off the top of my head, um, I really love the um, retinol. I think it's called the Super Retinol line of skincare. Really love that. I really love the um, Super Healthy Skin body products. I have the scrub, the um, the tub of uh, body, what is that called? Body butter, or body cream. That is amazing. Um, and I also have their face wash and a few other products and I've really been enjoying those. And in terms of makeup, I just recently talked about um, their cream blushes and lip products that I am super obsessed with. So I will definitely share more details um, in that next video of all of the products. There's just too many to name off the top of my head. Um, Allison Spencer 74 asks, favorite places to dine, favorite stores and or malls to shop? Do you consider your new home your forever home and any plans for international travel this year? So I'm gonna take these one at a time. Uh, favorite places to dine. We have so many great places around where we live and everything seems to have great happy hours. And so um, it's really hard during the week when we're both working not to participate in all the fun going on every day, everywhere. Uh, but I would say some of our um, usual sort of regular hangouts, uh, there's a re an Italian restaurant called Lenora's that has a great outdoor patio with 
Um, they just play great music and there's a good vibe there and good happy hour as well. Um, and then there is a place called Das Beer Garden, a beer garden that's in Abacoa in Jupiter, Florida, which is um, a great place because my husband is a beer drinker, but he needs to stick to gluten free. And this place has so many beer options that um, it's a place where we can both go and, you know, get some drinks and they have great actually kind of bar food as well. And what I love about that place, again, most of the places we hang out, we love to be outdoors and that place it has great outdoor um, area for not only you know hanging out but also they do live music a lot so we go and we see a lot of bands there and stuff so that's always really fun um, in terms of places i like to shop we have a great mall in palm beach gardens called the gardens mall that um, has pretty much everything i could ever want there's a louis vuitton a gucci a chanel um, the big department stores, there's a Nordstrom, Saks, Bloomingdale's, pretty much, you know, everything I can think of. Uh, I would say one of my favorite stores to shop is definitely Nordstrom. I always love shopping both online and in store. And lately I kind of order online and pick up in store um, at Nordstrom. And I, yeah, that's kind of my favorite, I would say, store to shop. And my favorite type of shopping really is outdoor shopping. I don't really love being confined to inside a mall. I like places where there's kind of open air shopping and there's quite a few around here, but one that I really love is in West Palm uh, Beach, which is called, I'm trying to remember the name of it, Rosemary Square. And um, that has a lot of shopping and dining and also great kind of live music and entertainment on the weekends and stuff. So really enjoy those places. Um, do I consider my home my forever home? No, definitely not. Um, <laughs> we don't consider the area where we're in something where we, somewhere we want to stay forever, but it's great for right now. Um, and especially the fact that we bought a town home that is on three floors, the stairs are a challenge <laughs> or it's something I'm getting used to. It's not a challenge. It's just annoying. Sometimes the doorbell rings. I have to go down two flights of stairs. Um, it takes me a while and so because I'm super careful because I've fallen downstairs one too many times so yeah um, I would say that my forever home we think that the next move we make when we sort of retire will be into a forever home but um, yeah for now we are very happy with the location we're in um, it's close to everything and it's really nice just not having kind of the um, outdoor responsibilities of owning a standalone home uh, any plans for international travel this year? No, I think this hopefully will be our last year of not traveling internationally, but we just have so many friends and family that we've kind of left behind or that we don't see a lot that we are kind of planning our time off around visiting people or having people here. Um, so that is kind of a new normal for us because it seems like whenever someone moves to Florida, uh, people do like to come visit them, which is nice, uh, but uh, it is a little bit, um, you know, we just really haven't, since COVID, we really haven't thought about traveling internationally and we really want to get back into it. Um, it's just, yeah, probably not this year. Um, the Style Professor asks, do you work remotely? Three things you enjoy about working remotely. Uh, do you get tired of casual, casual dress? Why did you move to Florida? Um, and if you could do it all over again, would you choose somewhere more politically correct? I had to laugh when I saw that question. Um, yes, I work remotely. Uh, some of the things I enjoy about it, um, number one, just the flexibility of being able to answer the door and let people in and out for all the work and stuff we're having done at our place. Um, also just the flexibility of being able to, um, you know, I don't have the commute that I had anymore, so I can, you know, stop working, make dinner. If I need to jump back on, I can. It's just really nice to have a flexible day and um, be able to kind of work around uh, my work schedule to kind of get things done. And then I also enjoy being able to sleep in a little longer and um, being able to you know, not get super dressed up. I, I think it is very casual. It's very, very casual here. I'm still getting used to that. And the only thing I really miss, I would say, are wearing like blazers and things that I used to wear into the office. Um, I do enjoy that style of dress and that's not something I do a lot anymore, <laughs> a lot of anymore. But um, but yeah, I'm getting used to the more casual lifestyle and it has its, it has its moments, let's say. I like it and I don't like it at the same time. Um, and 
if we could do it all over, oh, why did we move to Florida? It was my husband's um, job opportunity that brought us here. And um, what if I had to do it all over again, I probably, I mean, yes, in theory, I would like to live somewhere where um, people are sort of like-minded more so, um, but I have sort of adjusted over the years um, to, you know, trying to, I don't even know what the word is, trying to be open-minded and listen more than I try to impose my opinions and views on other people because I'm not going to change their mind, they're not going to change mine, and I've been living like that for a long time. Um, it got even worse during COVID, <laughs> um, and yeah, I've seen a lot of families and people I know just break apart over things like this, but moving to Florida, I may not always agree with the politics, but um, we definitely, there are all kinds of people here, and I'm very fortunate that I moved to an area where like everyone here is from the Northeast, so a lot of us are very similar in our political views. Um, and I feel like we are have more of a tendency not to talk about it just because we're, you know, being respectful of other people's, you know, opinions and knowing that other people out there may not agree. And so I think that's my problem is really people who just throw their opinion all over you and just want to jump all over you for yours. And, you know, if we can all just learn to get along and to listen and have a two way conversation, I think life would be a lot easier. That's all I'm going to say about that because I know I'm going to get some hate. <laughs> um, H L E S C Z Y N 1. Um, asks, do you still love your vintage Chanel Kelly? I'm considering trying to find one on a trip to Tokyo next year, and I love the Kelly, but will never spend Hermes money on a handbag. Never say never. I completely agree with you. I don't want to spend that money on an Hermes handbag, and I do not want to go through the process, the little song and dance process of buying one in a store. I'm just so, I think that's so backwards and crazy that they that they even have that process. Um, so I would probably, if I do ever get an Hermes Kelly, I will get a vintage one. I like them better anyway, and I am really a huge fan of vintage, um, and the price point is a lot better. But getting back to the question, I still do love my vintage Kellys. Um, I have two, and I'm gonna just grab them right now. So I have the small size in the black lambskin with the silver hardware as well as the large size in the black lambskin with the silver hardware. And I will tell you that these do not get used as much as I would like, primarily because they are only a top handle bag. And in order to try to fit something um, into this very, very small area uh, to make it a crossbody, it would definitely scratch up or damage the leather. So I haven't done anything like that. You could probably clip something onto the handle. Again, it might scratch it up. Um, but yeah, the reason I don't wear them a lot is primarily because they are just a top handle bag. I will say that I still love the look of them and they're not going anywhere. I think they're beautiful, classic ladylike bags that um, will probably stay in my collection forever. Uh, but uh, in terms of my sort of scratching my itch for the Hermes Kelly, this has really not solved it. So just keep that in mind. Um, I think you will find some great deals. In Tokyo because a lot I bought both of these from Japanese sellers from Tokyo on eBay and um, I think you will find um, that there's a lot of beautiful vintage bags in wonderful condition there so hopefully you will find a Kelly but definitely keep your eyes out for a vintage Hermes as well uh, if that's something you're interested in because I have seen a lot of Japanese sellers selling um, those for in great condition for sort of better prices than here where um, specifically where I live in the Palm Beach kind of county area, the the prices people are charge at consignment stores and things is outrageous. <laughs> so um, yeah, I don't intend to buy anything probably um, at consignment here, but uh, yeah, I'm always keeping my eyes open when I travel. Uh, the next question comes from DJSMOJ2310 who asks, do you still wear your Burberry trench coat? And not usually. So um, I would say I've probably worn it once or twice in the last few years, and that's primarily because of COVID, but also because of the move to Florida. But I'm holding on to it because it is a classic coat that, you know, I feel like it will never go out of style. It's something that I love, and I have a whole 
separate closet in um, one of our guest rooms that is kind of my office where I'll show you eventually where I'm keeping things that are sort of like my cold weather when I travel things or cooler weather when I travel things and it is in there with some of my coats and jackets and things so love that trench coat just don't wear it <laughs> um, and then another question from the same person uh, being the climate change do you still wear blazers or suits to work no i do not and i miss doing that um, i i have kept quite a collection i've got quite a few blazers down here that are more kind of blazers i would wear just going out on a weekend somewhere or um when i do have you know a conference call or something where i'm face to face and feel like i want to throw on a jacket but really i don't wear them to work and i probably won't be buying blazers anytime soon because i have enough to get me through um and yeah i can't seem to let go of my blazers that's another thing i've been holding on to that i probably should let go at some point next question comes from linda clinton hi linda uh, she asks how do you enjoy your florida life did you take your job with you or do you have another? Um, any spring must-haves and favorite bag brand right now? So I am enjoying my Florida life. It, um, it has its good and its bad. I would say the good things are that I wake up every morning just about to sunshine and brightness and I'm so happy that our townhome, um, it's an end unit with a lot of windows and it is just so bright and cheery. So I'm very happy about that. Um, and I really do enjoy sort of the being on vacation style of life here <laughs> that, um, that I have sort of fallen into a little bit too much. Um, and did I take my job with me? Um, so yes, I have another job, but yes, I did take my job with me. So I was on a consulting assignment um, that ran through the end of last year and so I was able I was working remotely with that so I was able to take that with me um, but then when that assignment ended the company is actually headquartered in Charlotte North Carolina and um, if I wanted something full-time I would have to either move to Charlotte or move closer to one of their locations um, even if it's remote they're having a whole um, a lot of banks are having people come back into the office at least a few times a week and they're requiring that you live within a certain distance of um, one of their major locations. So I ended up finding another job. <laughs> so I'm at a small mortgage company now, working remotely and um, really enjoying it, still in communications. And um, so yeah, that's where I am at. And spring must-haves. For me, spring this year, and I think you know, pretty much all year round, uh, is going to be all about getting some dresses into my life because I came here without a lot of dresses and it seems to be that is what I wear the most of. So I would say that is definitely a spring must have. And also linen. Um, I have a few linen pieces around me um, that are new into my life. I've got some cute little shorts that I picked up from, um, I think these are from Banana Republic. I got these in several colors. They just have an elastic waistband, but they're really cute. Um, yeah, I'm trying to wear more linen because it is such a great fabric, linen, cotton, pretty much what I wear in the spring here. And um, yeah, so linen and dresses, I would say are my two spring must have. And last question is favorite bag brand right now. And that would be Chanel. I have always loved Chanel. I've always sort of longed for um, a classic flap and now I have several and I'm just so, so happy um, to own anything Chanel, but I love everything about the brand and I seem to see a lot more Chanel bags where I live, which makes me love them even more, and especially in a sea full of um, luxury bags. Those are the ones that I'm always drawn to still. Um, and I think, you know, I, I, I love everything about Chanel. I love their clothing. I love their makeup. I love their <laughs> perfume. I love pretty much skincare, all of it. Uh, yeah, those are all of the questions. Um, I hope I answered everything, but like I said, if I did not, please um, leave your question down below and I'd be happy to answer there. And thank you so much to everyone who left me questions. I always enjoy connecting with you. I will see you all soon in my next video and have a great week. Bye.